Look at me, look at me inside Unity. This is very short. It's gonna be like a 30 second video. I'm going to, I'm going to bed. It's late. I've been mucking around in Unity far too much. I love this Dark City 2 pack. I think the models are beautiful. Textures are amazing. Substance, obviously. But, my word, what a pain in the bum. The prefabs are made up of loads of meshes that aren't actually sub prefabs, they are just the models. So you've got to sit and muck about a load of stuff yourself if you want to make your own modular house. Because they give you all the parts to make modular houses, I'll show you. Look, models. Look at all these. And it's, what the, makes it even more painful is that each set LODs, look, these are the models, right? And then I go into LOD1, and I've got the same model, but the LOD1 version of it, and then you've got the same one in the LOD2 version of it. There's a massive pain in the bum. That is a massive pain. It's lovely, because you've got LODs, but why not just, you know, give us a prefab with the LOD group on them, out of the box. Why would I have to sit there and make prefabs myself? Now, this, this set one, look how many models there are. And I've got set two. Likewise. And I've got set three. And then set four, set five, set six, six, seven, set eight sets. And there's loads of stuff. I'm not complaining because we've got loads of stuff. I love the fact that we get loads of stuff in this pack. It's a gift. It's a joy. The fact that none of them, not a single one of them is a prefab is painful you've got I'm not saying you don't get prefabs that's a lie you do get prefabs look i didn't say you don't get prefabs i'm just saying the prefabs that you want to be able to build that building don't exist you've got pre-made buildings and that's where this little fella comes in so if i look at this building three right i'll pop him open look at this see all these in here look at that none of these are actually prefabs they're all just the models put together so what i did I went into just an example, this building, and not even look at that, three LOD groups. These ones aren't prefabs, but I prefabbed up all of these in here in the zero group. And I went to the GPU instancer and I used this ref, uh, prefab replacer. By the way, it's a pain in the bum that every time you replace something, this window closes, you have to open it again. I've made my request to the developer if he can change that. I purchased GPU instancer um, back when it was a, on a sale and I'm glad I did. I, it was one of the best purchases I've made on the asset store. And I got it for cheap as chips because it was like 50% off. And I wish I got it when it first came out 50% off because then it would have been like, what, 30p or something nuts. But anyway, I digress. I'm waffling. I promise to be a very, sh very short vid. Look at this. Look how many versions of this building I've gone and shoved in there. Loads of them. Now, obviously, I'm not going to click bake because when I tried to do that, my whole computer just froze. It couldn't do anything. It was ridiculous. It was taking 10 years to bake it. Thank you, Unity. Oy vey, come on. Give us some lighting goodness. I know, I know we're waiting for it. Now look at this. I've just chucked a texture on the floor. And I'm getting 17 FPS. You can feel. Oh my word. You can feel how jerky it is. Oh, it is painful. I know normally it's my screen casting you know, software that I've got here and that makes it crappy but come on this is terrible look at that oh you feel like you're gonna throw up in your shoes don't you but with GPU instancer if I pop all the way down to here and I go to my GPU prefab manager I've put in not the actual main building itself but I shoved in all of these little um, prefab that I've made out of the components, the modular parts. And look, there's 408 of these, 726 of those, 1,210 of those, and like for 1,452 of these things. Got no idea what it is, but it's loads of them. Turn that back on. Let's turn this script back on here. All right, so we had 15 FPS. Now what are we going to have? Come on, what have we got now? Ba -ba 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 Da, 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 da. 15 up to 220 and I'm happy yeah I'm happy I'm doing my happy dance my happy dance look at my pants I got a happy dance that's right got 200 we are to 250 I'm running look at me I'm running 250 200 200 FPS down here 
Oh my word. Oh my word. Aren't you excited? I know I'm excited. Because that means we can actually redo that entire demo scene and not have it suck. I mean, it's beautiful, but my word, that FPS was atrocious. And Lotus, I'm getting, is about 190? 180, here we go, 180, oh, I saw some 170s. I thought, I saw 170, I was like, oh, 170, that's appalling. How bad that FPS is, 170. He's got greedy, We've got greedy, we've gone back up to 230s. This is a 500 by 500 map. 500 by 500 map, full to the brim of this house. Now, obviously, I could now just chug in any of these houses because they're all pretty much using the same prefabs now. If I sit there and re replace all of those different parts, but these ones are now finally. And don't forget, these are actually LOD zero. These are all LOD zero. These none of these have got LODs on. Not a single LODed prefab in this scene. Not one. Not one LODed prefab. Every single one of them is the highest res prefab which is uh, I think this here was a hundred and twenty five thousand tries something mental like that so that's that's what I mean, not if it was this one there was another one there one of there was one of them was that showing you 125,000 I could you find it let's find where it was let's find where you are little badger like a star you can tell i'm excited you yes i had to sing to myself all right here it is so open prefab what have we got in here oh no don't worry this one's only twenty thousand. okay and which one was the one that was mental there was one of them that was i think it was this one um this guy changes in this prefab what about you 76,000 where was it one of these it's one of these badges can't remember which one it was but it was crazy it was truly nuts maybe this one yeah here we go 125,000 125,000 wonderful triangles on this one here with 310 windows. Now, I can't wait to see what this badge is going to be like once we start shoving him in this. In, can you imagine in a 500 by 500 world? Don't say this guy changes. I mean, a load of those all over the place. Let's have a look. This. Can you imagine this filled up with these little badges? 125,000 tries in them. Filling up, you, you, I think your computer might explode. You might well explode. The next thing we're going to do is, well, not right now because it's late. I'm going to sit and redo exactly the same thing that I did, but for this one. Okay, this 125,000 tries building that's put together. Oh, loads! Look at all these pieces put together. That's going to take. Oh my word! This is going to take a while. To sit and replace all of these, let's close these ones. Look at this is what I turn about the colliders. See, they're all just a load of box colliders put together, which is nice because box collider performance lovely, which is odd. It's like he actually took a really big care of the performance when mucking about with colliders. No mesh colliders, everything's multiple box colliders. Bizarre, truly, truly bizarre. It's like, um. One minute is going like, oh, we're about, we're about performance, which I really appreciate. And the ne next minute is going, you know what? Sub performance. This just looks too beautiful. You gotta see how lovely it looks. So uh, just give it like a brief little Expect GPU instance. So you go to this re prefab replacer. I love this prefab replacer. And so if I was gonna, well, let's find one of these little things. Do I have one of them here? Um, not too, no, this is look, this is set three. I've got set one. So if I searched, say, got nothing in there. But if I just change that to a three, here we go. So I would grab all these here, and then they would come up in this little window, and then I'll drag in my prefab for like this, for example. 
Uh, I'll turn this bit off because I want to keep the names. And then bang, replace with prefab. And then I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to do that. And I've turned up what save off because that's really annoying. I didn't realise that was there. I kept it. I was going, oh, I have to click undo. I don't like the fact that it keeps on saving. So yeah, turn that off. Just be safe. And that was it. I mean, you got to do that repeatedly for all of the different meshes that are in this prefab. And my word, that's like ages. Take ages. But we'll, do you want me to video that? Or I've just described it. There's no point in me doing a video because I've just described what I did. Really? Haven't I? Just described it. So what's the point of doing a video of me doing it? You're going to fall asleep watching it. But, I don't know. Maybe maybe you need help sleeping. Um, ASMR, where it's called. I could go like this on the on the microphone. Yeah. 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 Isn't that what they do? I don't know. I think I, I like just like having a fan on. I like having a fan on and that, that comforts me. The noise of that. It's like being in the womb, I suppose. Or being locked in a, in a closet. Same kind of thing. So um, anyway, we digress. What are we talking about? Oh yeah. These bits. So you, you basically replace all of these little things with prefab equivalent of them rather than just a model just a mesh and then in your gpu instancer you're basically going you know what shove all of these bad boys in there and because there's loads it's going to be loads you can even use this um widget over here the scene importer and it will read through everything in your scene and then it will go look all these things i found do you want them in and you'll be like, you know what, Ooh, I don't want all of them in, that's a lot. I only want you to collect ones that have got at least 30 instances. And then you click that, and then it finds everything that's got at least 30. In this case, it's everything I've got in the scene. And then you go bang, it pulls selected prefabs, and it chucks them all in here. Well, the alternate way is to sit there and drag them all in, and I wouldn't really recommend doing that, because you've got no control over just how many you've got. So I use that little tool. That tool is nice. That tool is your friend. Show scene prefab importer. Use it. It's lovely. All right now, I'm off to bed. No, hang on. Let's have a muck, another muck about, and then I'm off to bed because it's too good. To, yeah, you know, I'll play again. Ooh, so lovely. Let's turn it off. Let's turn it back off again. Let's just go crazy. Seventeen. Oh, come on. Let's run. Oh, this is painful. This really is painful. Oh look, he went up to 20. He went up to 20. Fair play. Fair play, he's gone up to 20. He's kicking it in. 22! 22 FPS! Oh my word! Legendary! Legendary! 22 FPS! I feel... Oh, 24! 25! Oh, 26! Oh, 27! That's amazing! Okay, we've got 27 popping about there. Let's stick this little badger back on again. And now... What are we looking at? 240. You can't really complain, can you? You can't You can't really complain. You just stick a zero at the end of it. That's what you're getting with this. All right, that was my back clicking. I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to bed. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, I'm all tingly inside. Oh, if you do like it, um, and then don't forget to do the clicky clicky thing. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.